Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tebex. In this video, I want to show you how you connect your Tebex web store to your unturned gaming server. In this example, I'm going to be using gtxgaming.co.uk. If you're hosting it locally, these steps will be exactly the same, but they might be in slightly different locations. In this video, we're going to be installing RocketMod. We are going to be downloading and installing the official unturned Tebex plugin. We're going to make sure it's properly connected and we're going to make a test package and payment to make sure that everything is working in game as well. This video is focused on connecting the server to your web store. In the next unturned video, I will show you a few more examples of what kind of comments or what kind of things you can do once you got it all set up. So first we're going to be installing RocketMod. Click on Mod Manager on the left, then click on Mods and install RocketMod by clicking on Install on the right. This shouldn't take that long and when it's done, it should automatically close this window. There are a few settings that we need to do to make sure that we can run comments and that we are admin. So click on Configuration Files then we're going to search for the comments file and we're going to click on config editor. We're going to enable the cheats. So server cheats, enable that. And I want to change the name to Tebex. And then I'm going to click on save and exit. I also want to click on text editor. And then under owner, I want to make sure that I put my own Steam ID over here. There are several ways of getting your Steam ID. I like to open up my Steam, then click on my name on the top right and click on view profile. And then this number here in the URL is your Steam ID. If you don't see this bar over here, you can go to Steam, Settings, and then under Interface, make sure that you enable Display Web Address Bar when available. And then we're going to replace the Steam ID that's over here with our own. And then once again, click on Save and Exit. So I'm going to stop the server, and I'm going to go to Tabex. I already have an unturned store, but I'm going to create a new one in case you already have a store. Click on Your Account on the left, and then click on Web Stores. As you can see, I have quite a few stores already. You can create a new store in the top right. Then we select unturned. I gave it a name and I set my default currency to be euros and click on continue. Then we have to select if we want to use Tabex checkout or use our own payment gateways. If you're unsure of what to use and what Tabex checkout is, I will leave a link to the Tabex checkout announcement video in the video description. This should give you a good overview of what Tabex checkout is. In my case, I'm 100% sure that I want to use Tabex checkout. I will select that over here and then click on continue. So now we have to download the Tabex plugin. So let's click on this button and then let's click on keep. It says place the plugin file in your plugin directory. So let's go back to our GTX gaming. Let's click on file manager, go to servers and select our saved server or whatever name you gave it. Then let's click on rocket and let's go to plugins. You can either click on upload and then browse through your computer. Or in my case, I'm just going to drag it because I already had it open. And this should also upload the file directly. We have the Tabex plugin installed. We are admin and we enable cheats so we can actually run the comments. Let's start our server. So I'm going to click on web console on the left and see it start up. Then let's see if we have a Tabex message coming up. And as you can see, it says loaded Tabex unturned. It also loaded some of the comments over here. And it says you have not defined your secret key. So we have to do that. Let's go back to Tabex. It says copy and paste the following comment into your server console. Let's click on copy. And then we can run that here at the bottom. And then let's do tabx colon refresh. And it says, your secret key has been validated. Web store name unturned tabx academy. And if we go over here on the top right, it also says connected. So that's all good. Can click on continue. Before I try to make anything work on tabx, I want to make sure that I know what kind of comments I need to run, what the format is, and make sure that the comment that I found on the internet or wherever I found it is actually still valid and working. Inside of unturned, click on play and click on connect. Then put the IP address at the top, put the port here. If you set a password, put it over here. I didn't set a password, so I can leave it blank. And then let's click on connect. This should bring up more information about your server and then you can click on join in the bottom left. So it's clearly night. Let's do slash day and see if we are admin and if everything is working and it seems to be working fine. So we are admin and we can run comments. So let's see what we need to do to spawn in a vehicle. We need to do slash vehicle, then our Steam ID and then the vehicle ID. So I still have this open. I can just copy my Steam ID over here. I installed vehicles through the Steam Workshop. So if I click on details, it will show me the IDs that I can use. So here are the IDs. So you will either have to Google around for the default vehicles that are already inside of Unturned and then get those IDs. In my case, since I installed these, I can use one of these IDs. So slash vehicle 
my Steam ID, and then 35000. And as you can see, a vehicle spawns in front of my nose. So if we do enter and then arrow up, you can see that this is the command that I used. And if I run it again, let me copy it first. If I run it again, it will just spawn in another car. I like to always make sure that I have the correct comments and just copy it from in-game and then try to make it work on Tabex. Back at our dashboard, let's go to packages. Let's edit our example package and then let's add a comment and paste in what we had from the game. And the only thing we really need to do is change this team ID to be dynamic to take the team ID of whoever is logged into the web store. So let's click on help and then scroll down and we can use the ID variable and this will return the primary ID for whatever game type. So in our case, it will return the Steam64 ID. Let's replace my Steam ID with the ID variable and that should work. Then let's add another comment and do broadcast and say vehicle bot. And then we click on update. So now let's click on payments and then payments again. And let's create a manual payment to see if everything is working. So we fill in our Steam ID over here and then we select our example package and click on create. Now in game, all we have to do is wait a little bit and it should spawn in our car and also in chat say our message. As you can see, we get the message in the chat and our car fell from the sky and everything is working as intended. I hope this was helpful. If you want more information, you can check out our YouTube channel. We have more videos showing you how to get the most out of Tabex. Or you can, of course, join our Discord. Here you can hang out with other content creators and learn how to grow your online community. All our social links will be in the video description. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your unturned server and good luck with your Tabex store.